The Canadian women's hockey team continued their march toward gold medal redemption with a dominating 10-3 semifinal win against Switzerland earlier today. Canada is undefeated through six games thus far in the tournament, outscoring their opponents 54-8. The offense has been led by Brianne Jenner, who tied an Olympic record with her ninth goal of the tournament versus Switzerland. Another bronze medal has been added to Canada's medal tally in the first ever women's monobob competition in Olympic history. Alberta's Christine De Bruin captured the bronze in the new solo bobsleigh event, winning her first Olympic medal. Well, they've been called Mrs. Consistency before, um, and that's really what I wanted to do, is just be consistent for those, full, those four runs. And uh, I think that's what I did today. In women's curling, Canada, led by Jennifer Jones, beat Great Britain 7-3 to to even their round-robin record to 3-3 three and three, with three draws remaining until the medal round. We have an update from the Court of Arbitration for Sport in the figure skating controversy involving Russian skater Kamila Valieva. CAS, which is sport's highest court, ruled that Valieva is allowed to compete in the women's singles event on Tuesday. They cited issues of fairness and the potential for irreparable harm to the 15-year-old Valieva due to the timing of the release of the positive test result. What this means for Canada's potential move from fourth to third in the mixed team event standings remains unclear. It would not be appropriate to hold the medal ceremony for the figure skating team event during the Olympic Winter Games Beijing 2022 as it would include an athlete who on the one hand has a positive A sample but whose violation of the anti-doping rules has not yet been established on the other hand. And the IOC said that if Valieva happens to podium in the women's singles event, a medal ceremony will not be held. Mike Arsenault, Global News.